Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central, and I wanted to take a quick look at the OnLive desktop app that was announced uh, by OnLive. Now, if you're not familiar with OnLive, these are the same guys who do the streaming game business, where they run games on very powerful computers, and then using your high-speed internet connection, you can either stream it to your computer, your desktop, laptop, whatever, or uh, as of late, maybe a couple months ago, to your Android device, your phone or your tablet. Uh, OnLive Desktop is the same concept except instead of games it is a full Windows 7 install uh, with Microsoft Suite and uh, Internet Explorer which is kind of a boo. But I'm already signed in. Uh, if you have an OnLive account then you already have an OnLive Desktop account. And uh, this is what it looks like. You've just got your typical Windows 7 desktop. Uh, any files that you happen to edit, save, or upload to your OnLive desktop files, which you do by going to files.onlive.com, are stored right here in your documents. You see that everything is very easy to get around. Uh, there's no double tapping. Everything acts like a hyperlink with a single click. And because I have just installed this, I don't have any files in my documents. So we'll just close that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you can see here we've got the uh, getting started, which is a little help page. Uh, then there's also the Microsoft Office program, so Word, Excel, PowerPoint. What I'm particularly interested in, though, to show you guys is Internet Explorer, which is pretty cool. So, let's open that up. There we go. Uh, it takes you straight to desktop.onlive.com, tells you, hey, unleash your tablet, do some cool stuff with it. Uh, and then the one thing that I tried to do, I said, hey, well, you know, if we have a browser, let's, you know, like surf the web, do something cool with it. So I said, well, why don't we just try Google? Mm. E dot com. You'll see that the virtual keyboard they're using is fairly spacious, um, not bad looking. But I'll show you later on after we're done with this that you can actually use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, uh, which supports left click. But check that out. Try to go Google. Oh, on live desktop standard does not support general web viewing. Oh, that's a bummer. So we close that out, and let's get rid of the keyboard. Ah, there it is. Sorry about that. Now moving right along into the programs, Microsoft Word. Let's see how that works. Word opens up. You can see everything is incredibly quick. I'm on a pretty decent uh, wireless connection right now, but that is the same Microsoft Word that you come to know and love. And I mean, there it is. So how about we say something fun? Uh, this is the that input. You can also use a uh, pen input, and it'll try and recognize what you are saying. So I'll say, nope. I I Android. Not too bad for a first shot. Hi, Android Central. Pretty cool. And then you could just save this and it would go straight to your documents folder. Uh, no, don't save because it's a waste. Uh, I should also clarify that you get two gigabytes of free storage space with the standard. Uh, if you want to upgrade to, I think, what's called the Plus account, you move up to five gigabytes and you also get some enhanced gigabit streaming capabilities and hopefully uh, full web browsing. Although, considering you're on an Android tablet to begin with, you have a fully functional browser built into the operating system, so you might not want to do streaming with the uh, OnLive desktop. Uh, start menu has some, I mean, fairly standard things in it. You know, oh, let's check out Microsoft Blackboard. And you see, you can just hop right into that. I mean, this is interesting. It kind of opens up a whole new uh, slew of opportunities, maybe if you went to the Plus Plan, for things that you couldn't do on the standard. Uh, one of the things you also get in the Plus Plan is full flash support, but again, you get that in Android by default. So unless you're planning on using OnLive Desktop very, very heavily uh, for a lot of different things, that $5 a month subscription kind of looks like it's not necessary if you use things like Dropbox and then the uh, Android browser you might not need it. Uh, last thing we'll look at is the getting started page. 
just in case any of you are curious. Open sesame. Ah, well, two is better than one. So this is basically your little help page that you see what is on Live Desktop and you can tap in and it says this is what on Live Desktop is. It's a cloud-based storage thing that lets you run Windows through the internet, which is really cool. Uh, for presentations that would be especially helpful if you're running something like the Toshiba Thrive and you could just go straight out the HDMI port, you could run a presentation conceivably uh, in a Microsoft program, you know, hooked up to a projector or a large monitor and you wouldn't have to, you know, do any weird kind of rigging up of anything. Uh, if I change window settings, will they be saved? Unfortunately not. Something to keep in mind just because they are running this on their machines and if you were messing with their settings that wouldn't be very cool at all. Uh, how do I sync my docs with online files? Hey, go to <gasps> online desktop iPad. Well, I guess they haven't updated to reflect their new Android status. But uh, everything is automatically synchronized every minute. If you happen to get disconnected while you're editing a file, it will try and save it after 15 minutes in the event that you haven't reconnected, which is very cool of OnLive to do. So hopefully, best case scenario, you never ever lose any data ever when you're using OnLive Desktop. Uh, where should I start? You start here on the Start menu, or on the desktop with the Start menu, excuse me. And there you have it, a little animated GIF or running video. But because we can't search the web, we'll have to exit out of this and eventually exit out of online desktop. Uh, overall, the service seems very, very cool. Um, if not, perhaps maybe a little niche because of the offerings that we have on the Android operating system like QuickOffice HD, a full flash browser already. Um, is $5 a month worth it for the Plus? That's hard to say. The fact that you get two gigabytes of free cloud storage and this service by itself for free is very, very impressive. And uh, if you want to mess around with it, all you need to do is sign up for an OnLive account and then go to the app market and download OnLive Desktop. It's a free app. And as I mentioned, the standard service is free. So that is it for this little glimpse at OnLive Desktop. The next video will be a short one showing how Bluetooth keyboard functionality works flawlessly. But until then, um, OnLive Desktop, you can download it in the Android market. Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central. And as promised, I'm going to just show you a quick uh, demonstration of how well using a Bluetooth keyboard uh, works with the OnLive desktop service. So I've got Microsoft Word booted up, I've got my Logitech uh, Bluetooth keyboard for Android 3.0 devices uh, hooked up already so I'll just type a couple of phrases and we'll see what happens. Hey everyone. See, So I mean works rather well. Hey everyone. This is a demonstration of using a Bluetooth keyboard with on live desktop backspace period. So you'll see that only took me a couple seconds to type. The only reason there were <laughs> really any typos at all is because I'm balancing the keyboard on my leg. Uh, but you can see that using this, combining a Bluetooth mouse, a Bluetooth keyboard, and the OnLive desktop service, you effectively have a truly workable, you know, mobile workstation. Uh, some people call that a laptop, but if you were so, so inclined, this could also work as well. Uh, so again, brief preview of a Bluetooth keyboard uh, using OnLive Desktop in Microsoft Word, and it also works in everything else on OnLive Desktop. Uh, that's it.